Hey there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and I thought we'd just have a random moment of life on board and there's just a few things, a few random little stories about life afloat that I want to share with you. Nothing um, particularly exciting. As you can see, even though it is literally 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's already so dark that if I go out of direct light, I become a very dark silhouette indeed. So anyway, let's flip the camera around, have a look out of the window and well, have a natter. Well, first of all, you can see one of the important jobs is to get the incense lit. And, well, very soon the fire too shall be lit. But, ultimately, if we have a look out of the window, fetch us back into focus. Lovely. Good old ducks go about their daily lives. I wonder, have we got any geese about? Ah, I'll show you those through the window. Um, or from the back, rather. Well, yes, there's just a few random little bits and pieces about life that... I can never really think of um, when I'm trying to sit down and do some videos. There's sort of little stories that I always forget to add in. So just thought I'd share a few of them. And last night spurred me on to do this video because there was a prime example. And well, do you know, I've now got the sofa bed back on board. And last night it was pretty chilly so I left it up like this because I quite like to be able to snuggle up into this corner of having the padded back and obviously lying on it as a bed. And, well, you've got the fire going, it's just absolutely beautiful. But I think I woke up about, I don't know, four o'clock, sort of very, very early in the morning. And so I'm lying here, just looking up like that, and I can hear something rattling. And there's something banging against the fender. And then the next thing I hear is a sort of, I don't know, a dull sort of thud, like... And I know that something has jumped up onto Tilly. And I'm thinking, all right, what's going on here and what's it going to be? And so as I'm lying here, I can hear rustling and I can hear rustling when I look down to the stern. And I'm thinking, right, stay very still and quiet. And then in a minute, I'll get up and get my torch and try and um, have a look what's going on. And then amazingly, after a split second of me waiting, uh, obviously the curtains were closed. I'm um, just pointing that out. I don't sleep uh, for all the morning boaters to come and look in and see me like sleeping beauty or heaven forbid sleeping ugly here. But as you'll see, just below the window there is the um, gunnel and like the step that you can walk along the full length of the boat. And whatever it was was like a sort of a large cat or sort of fox-sized animal. And the moon. It was a perfectly clear like night last night. But the moon was very low, which is how I know how late in the uh, night it was. And it was casting proper light through the window here. And amazingly, against the curtain, I just saw this perfect silhouette of whatever this sort of... I don't know, it, I mean, it could have been a cat. I don't know if it would have been a fox brave enough to come up on the boat. But just the, the silhouette of this animal go across there. And so you can imagine, I'm in here thinking... Whoa, flipping heck, whoa, what's that? And like the sort of panic going on. And then I then obviously look to this next window and see exactly the same silhouette go past. And so that was a rather nice, um, intriguing moment. But by the time I got up with the torch, obviously it was long gone. So who knows what that was all about. And anyway, once again, from this exact spot a couple of nights ago, and this was probably one of my best sightings and rarest sightings, um, I saw... Well, I heard, once again, about two o'clock, I think this was at night, something banging against the fender just at the side here. So I crept up, got to the back, opened up the door. This is obviously a dramatic reconstruction. Hello, autumn. No matter how much you sweep up, there's always a lot more leaves to come. And when I shone the torch down here, amazingly, there was... I don't know if it's a water vole or what. I'll have to look into it properly. Should have probably done that before this video. But, you know, like the small otter type creatures, I suppose. Swam straight across from there, right up to that clump of trees. And it was the classic sort of sticking its head up out of the water as it quickly scurried away. I just had it lit up in the torch. The camera wouldn't pick it up because it was so dark. But that was certainly, if we come out of the wind, one of those fantastic moments. And it was like, oh, wow, look at that. Some more random and, well, unexpected wildlife. Um... So yeah, I hope that these stories are of some interest. Like I say, it's just generally talking about life afloat. Um, these are the sort of things that I can't really think uh, off the top of my head when I'm like doing a video about something. They wouldn't fit in. So yeah, I just thought I'd share some random stuff. Um, also, last year, once again, if we take ourselves a nice trip outside, 
I think it was pretty much this time last year that I was back in this area ready for winter mooring. I was moored up just around the corner there and there was an absolutely beautiful moment where I realised the one night that I didn't have any coal or, well, was running very low on coal. So I thought, right, I know, walk down the towpath, took me trolley, took one of the plastic boxes that I normally keep wood in and my little hand cart and walked right the way up the towpath to there up over the Cheek Aqueduct, up into the Cheek itself. Got myself a 20 kilogram bag of coal from the spa up there. Popped it into my uh, bucket on a trolley, whatever you want to call it. And, well, in the traditional beautiful way. Then realised, after about two seconds of walking, that I was suddenly about a mile away to drag this, well, 20 kilogram bag of coal. And it certainly took a while. So when I did finally get back, all of the wheels on the uh, little trolley thing that I have had all like the sort of tiny stones and pebbles proper, like um, almost like welded into the wheel surface. And yeah, that was another random moment. And oh, there you have the geese. Once again, now that I've come out into view and they've seen me, they are all heading down here and we shall look out of the window in just a moment and be seeing those, I'm quite sure. I told you the geese would soon be outside the windows. Oh, you know what? Let's have a random interruption while we've got the fire burning. But it's got to be said, one of the other things that I'm sure you're probably sick to death of me talking about is my absolute obsession with writing. I mean, I've been getting back into writing a few little verses and poems. I mean, when I'm just sat up there, I mean, once the fire's got the heat up in here, because up in that corner you're well out of the draught, and so they're proper warm and toasty up there. I mean, I sit at that literally just wearing shorts sometimes. <laughs> I'm scribbling away in here and, well, I've also got, obviously, well, an awful lot of other notebooks, but we won't go into those again. But something that you may be able to just about make out in the darkness down there, I've got at least 300 fairy lights here. So those will soon be making their debut on the outside of Tilly and well, Christmas spirit will be in full flow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just thought I'd throw in another thing. I mean, I know I always talk about writing and all the rest of it and the crackling fire, but I mean, after tea and in the evenings, I have me a uh, little light up in the corner shining over onto the desk there and just scribbling away or typing up on the iPad. It's just an absolutely perfect sort of, well, traditional boaty sort of thing. Like I say, when you've got that going just to your side, absolutely spot on. And yes, well, you may know um, from my other videos that I've been keeping a proper um, sort of dear diary style journal. And well, maybe I'll share some of that with you in the future. Who knows? So yeah, I thought I'd subject you back to my face again. If you can see my breath, I don't know if you can, um, then that is because I have literally just got back on board after being up at my friend's house, which is literally just up over that hill, as luck would have it. Um, but yeah, it's like I say, these are just some of the random things of recent times that are just on the top of my head thinking, oh yeah, these are just the random moments of boat life and the sort of the things that you get from boating that you wouldn't have traditionally in a house necessarily. And it's that sort of thing that, like I say, I try and give you an accurate representation of what life on a boat is like. But there's all these tiny little like day-to-day -day things that I don't necessarily think, oh yeah, I'll remember that for a video. Or, like I say, when I'm filming a video, it doesn't cross my mind to mention these sort of little like wildlife spotting or seeing this, that or the other, like swimming past the boat or anything. And um, yeah, it's just that sort of, I suppose now that I'm settled for the winter, hopefully, um, that I'm like thinking... Right, let's just go through a few video ideas, let's get a few uh, words written a day. I mean, I'm well into my next book now and hopefully that's going to come along very well and be nice and wrapped up, ready for purchase at the start of next year. So I will say thank you all as usual for the support for The Narrowboat Lad. I mean, a thousand downloads is just, once again, I could have never imagined that one day somebody would think, oh yeah, I'm going to read that book. And then another 999 would also think that. So thank you once again. And check out The Narrowboat Lad on Kindle if you haven't. Um, oh, another random thing that I better say. YouTube and this Google Plus and the comments and all that sort of stuff. If you're a regular on YouTube. Also, sorry if my hair's a bit messy. It doesn't look too bad. But I've been wearing a woolly hat on my bike. Under my helmet, of course. Um, 
Yeah, so basically now, if I'm not getting back to your comments, in some cases, I quite literally cannot. And I've tried my best to go through all of the comments that I can, but it's becoming incredibly awkward and difficult at the moment. And there's no way I can't, I can't see Google possibly allowing this system to carry on that they've put in because it's absolutely awful. So please forgive me if I'm not responding to your comments very quickly at the minute, but now that I've got about 420, I think, the, when I looked at the statistics just before, for the last 30 days, and it's suddenly become an incredibly difficult, awkward, long-winded task to get to those comments and reply, please bear with me. Um, and also, I am currently tinkering around with fetching back good old sort of interesting.com, so hopefully I'll be able to share a few more photos with you of life on the canal and general scenery, and a few written articles about... Well, just sort of written facts and figures and statistics that might hopefully go along with these videos to make them, I don't know, more multimedia, more useful, I don't know, you know, basically, hopefully, make something a bit more helpful on good old sort of interesting.com. But more on that when I actually get it figured out. Sorry if I'm wobbling the camera a bit here as well. Um, and yeah, well, that's just really a completely random video. I've just been saying random things in, I suppose. So, thank you very much for watching. If this is the first video of mine that you've watched, please don't judge all of my narrowboat stuff. I promise that there's somewhere I actually talk about practical things about living on a boat and what it's like. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll make sure that I keep the, you posted on various things like comments and websites and all that sort of nonsense. Until the next time, subscribe, like the Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, add my personal account on Facebook if you want. All the details coming up in a second. Obviously, make sure you check out and leave a review for The Narrowboat Lad on Amazon. And until the next time, have a fantastic day, and hopefully I will see you around soon. Farewell.